His report to the health minister tomorrow morning. Gimli, Manitoba has a new claim to fame. Already known for its beautiful lakeside retreats and great fishing, Gimli can now boast a big Canadian production. As Channel 5 News Hour's Lisa Keller shows you, dog days in this resort town now mean lights, camera, action. Gimli, Manitoba is already well known locally for its yearly Icelandic festival. 19 Bakery, take two. Market. But now the picturesque town is the setting for Manitoba's first TV series called My Life as a Dog. It stars Michael Yarnish as Eric and a host of Manitobans as extras. That's Gimli's real-life mayor, Bill Barlow, to your left of the mermaid. It's hard and chilly work, but worth it. Um, you know, sort of have to have a lot of patience to be able to do something like this, but also when you look around and you watch other actors that have also had experience doing this, it's quite neat, so you get around um, being cold and you can deal with it. It's this is an exciting chance for the Manitobans who get to act in this production, but the series means more than just that. More to the Manitoba film industry and more to Gimli. About 75 Manitobans are involved as actors or crew, and they spend a lot of money in Gimli, a mini boom for the town. But that's a short-term benefit. Mayor Barlow says fame is even more important. We were delighted uh, that uh, Gimli was uh, kept as the name of this fictional town, and uh, and uh, so we really uh, uh, look at it as a as a profile-building event. Apart from the apart from the fact that it's just fun to be involved with. The series is co-produced by Manitoba's Credo Entertainment Corporation. So a series like this gives us the opportunity to hire and train people over time and we're shooting from September till January so we have the time to train. When My Life as a Dog is complete, Manitobans will be able to watch it on Super Channel. Lisa Keller, Channel 5 News. There will be 22 episodes in the series. My Life as a Dog premieres in 1996 on Super Channel, the movie network and ITV.